Spring is my favourite season. It's a bit warmer than winter and autumn, but, but I love the stories that spring tells, particularly on Spring Watch. You know, when we've got the cameras in those nests, we never know what we're going to get that year. We can't predict those stories. The wildlife will tell us their story, and I really enjoy that. And we never know what's going to happen from one spring to another. We never know which bird is going to be the star of that season. And, and I look forward to that. I, I like that unpredictability. It's great for us to come back to Arm. We were here 2016 for Autumn Watch, 2017 for Winter Watch. And it's always really nice to come back to a place and see it in different seasons. And also, it's so nice to come back to a place and be able to take the thermals off and put the t-shirts on. Walking around and seeing just how many different habitats are here and then seeing it link up as part of this super national nature reserve is absolutely brilliant. And to get all these different landowners working together for wildlife is a really positive thing. And I think that's one of the joys of being at Arn is there are so many positive stories. Dartford warblers, numbers, you know, two pairs when the RSPB took it over. And now those numbers have gone up, I think it's over 90 pairs. And that's because of the management that they've done in the RSPB. I'm someone that likes positivity, I like hope. And that gives me a great deal of hope. What have we got then? My favourite, um, snakes, adders, grass snake, smooth snake, all lovely, not my favourite. Uh, common lizard, slow worm, not my favourite. It is sand lizard, particularly the male. You know, I love a bit of bling. And you know, that is a creature that has bling all over it in its breeding plume, well, I was gonna say plumage, it's hardly plumage. It is breeding colors, you know, they look absolutely amazing. That green is iridescent and fabulous. I think if I was a bird, I think I would most like to live in a goldcrest nest. <laughs> The gold crescent that we've got on this show is it, just beautiful. It's, it's sort of hanging in the ivy and it's, it's lined, so it's got loads of feathers inside. My top tips for seeing spring wildlife, first of all, get out. <laughs> You're not going to see anything if you sit behind a laptop or some sort of screen all day. It's incredible for your mental health. You need to get out and you need to breathe, but also, What's really important, I think, is, is to look down. You know, so many of us, myself included, we tend to walk, we look up in the sky, we see the birds, we see the trees, we forget to look at what's beneath our feet. Also, I think another tip is to, to go out somewhere beautiful like this. You know, this is RSPB Arm, but there are loads of, of places like this that you can go to somewhere near you, any of the RSPB centres. Because not only are they beautiful and lots of different habitats, but there are people that can help you as well. And I think when you start doing things like bird watching, for instance. It could be quite overwhelming, you don't know where to start, but if you go to somewhere like an RSPB centre, you can, you can go on one of the talks, go on one of the walks with people and you learn so much and that's what sparks your interest. And then you know what you're looking at and you know what to look for as well.